Hey guys, third gen farmer here. We're back day three, I think it is now, of our wheat harvest. And uh, things are going well. Uh, we got this combine dialed in a little bit more uh, for that sample. Just get a little bit cleaner of a sample. Um, especially now that we're in a little bit different wheat and it's just um, drier and it's a little bit shorter so kind of adjusted to those things and uh, we kind of got it where we want it now it's another nice day yesterday I think we were combined for 14 hours which is a pretty long day of just combining alone and uh, yeah but that means it was decently smooth yesterday I'd say so hopefully today is the same and that we uh, get all these bushels off and kind of hopefully finish this field today that's the edge of the field there are those trees so but I guess we'll see here I guess we'll see we got over half of it done now so which is awesome all right we're gonna step out here see what kind of job it's doing Throwing out too much out the back here because we uh, adjusted some of the settings. And uh, yeah, it's good to check on that kind of stuff. Alright, so still going here. I think we got her set pretty well. Um, now, just looking at my sample, my losses and stuff. Um, with these older combines, it's a lot more of a kind of trial and error almost. like you have to try and find that happy medium, that Goldilocks, um, where you're not throwing too much out the back. I mean, as is any combine, you don't want to throw too much out the back, and then you also want to come in here, and it's it's trickier with these older ones, I want to say. They're just not as efficient as cleaning, and not as good as cleaning and stuff um, with the technology. That being said, they can still do a really good job providing the operators, mainly, is um, experienced and also that they whoever is running it has it dialed in pretty well if you don't know uh, some of the newer combines actually pretty much all the newer combines probably anywhere newer than 2005 I want to say uh, is gonna have like a button system uh, basically or not a button system but a monitor and on there you hit a few buttons and it changes all like your sieve settings in the back those are the ones that like shake a bunch um, and kind of sift out through the grain and the crap stuff well they can just adjust oh I want it at 19 or oh, I need it at 20 or I need it at 10 you know whatever it is but for us it is in the back of the combine we gotta shut everything down we gotta hop out um, I mean maybe they need to shut stuff off but we gotta hop out we gotta go to the back we gotta crawl in the back well not crawl in but we gotta take our basically our spreaders off the back um, to adjust manually all the things which I'm not complaining I'm just letting you guys know that's kind of how it is um, you might not know uh, that's how we have to do it um, obviously I would much rather hit some buttons I don't know about you but I'd like to hit buttons on the screen however that means a much newer combine which will be in the plans it's just these ones work very well for us um, for what we need them to do and we have two of them that are the same one goes down we have another one the fuel cost as well you look at a new combine and um, our neighbor for example he has brand new case combines well fairly new case combines now and they go through 200 250 300 gallons a day these ones both of them combined go through about 80 gallons maybe maybe like a hundred on it depending on how big the day an eight hour day 80 gallons between both of them a hundred gallons on a larger day yesterday we went through a hundred and it's just over a hundred gallons between both these combines and it was a 12 hour day for that combine over there that are 1995 and this one which is mine uh was a 14 hour day that is pretty impressive. I will say, I don't think there's many other combines 
that can do the job like that can do the job that we're doing and be as efficient in fuel wise like trust me the new call mines are efficient but for fuel there's a limit right you had that much horsepower it's going to take up the fuel but um so awesome awesome for these another thing for like any so we have a top and a bottom sieve we have to go adjust those manually and then our fan luckily our fan we don't have to adjust manually we do have it's like our little button rocker switch here basically so it's fancy but it gets the job done it, it slides it with electronics that is awesome um, compared to moving it manually million times better so I can assume that it's the same way with those sieves if we can adjust them manually or automatic well, on the screen rather than manually moving them because the issue sometimes with moving them manually is how accurate are you because we don't have anything really to gauge off of there's numbers on the side sure but there's also a lot of play in the levers that are on the side that we put on those are aftermarket so it's already made it easier but the levers that are on it can move five numbers and not move the sieve at all like it won't adjust it actually but just the slop in it so it there's only so much you can there's only so much we can do but yeah so that's kind of setting that but after it's said and done once it's set it's set and well we get decently nice samples I want to say um, the the wheat um, there, there's sometimes I found there's sometimes where we don't get quite as nice sample peas amazing samples dead clean there's nothing nothing other than just peas in there there's no pods or nothing in it it's great uh, canola about the same as the wheat it's it's not bad it's not amazing but like not as good as the new combines obviously they they're adjusting automatically and all that jazz right but um it's not bad it's not bad it's cool. right up there flying my flag as usual um we've got the cut down the field now which is funny enough for the cut down the field i did it by hand mainly um but now i got my gps is all loaded up and i'm using that so far it's going all right but yeah anyways this has been long enough I'll uh, let you guys well, take care and uh, that'll be the end of this video. This is day three. There's going to be another one for day three um, later on. If there's more stuff going on, there should be another one for day three. It's going to be a long day, so it's kind of dividing it up. Obviously, just explaining and just got started on this one, right? Um, but I also don't want to make these 20 minutes long um, for everyone's pleasure. So, yeah, you guys have a good one. Uh, take care. Ciao.